This video is for anyone who wants to start making money as a 3D artist, regardless of what software you're using or what your skill level. I'm gonna show you how you can instantly improve your chances of getting hired. Let's go. This is by far the easiest and fastest way to improve your chances of landing a job as a 3D artist. It's also the most neglected skill out there, which is quite ironic. Now, before I tell you what the secret is, I have a special gift for you. It's our free hard surface course for Blender beginners, which will teach you all you need to know to jumpstart your 3D modeling skills. The course is free and will help you to get started with Blender really fast. In addition, we invite you to our Discord community where you can ask any questions you want and you're gonna get instant help. Links are in the video description. Okay, so let's get back to making money with 3D art. There are many ways to get paid for 3D work. You could be a freelancer, work for a game studio, you know, you could do textures, you could be a modeler, you could be an animator and so on. But before you land that job, you need to show what you can do. And the best place to do it is via your professional looking portfolio. Now, don't get intimidated because it's easier than you think. I will give you three essential tips that will instantly improve your rendering skills and will effectively boost the quality of your portfolio. Josh and I get job offers all the time and 90% of them come through ArtStation. Art directors and clients browse internet and fish out people based on what they see on the portfolio. If you neglect your renders then your portfolio will look like shit. No one will offer you a job or at least it will be very very difficult. So from today make sure that that when you render anything, I mean anything, even the simplest model you have, put a lot of effort into renders and editing. Think about your portfolio as your clothes and haircut. If you go to a club looking like a bum, no chicks will chase you. But if you dress up, even though you're not Brad Pitt, you will get the heads turning and your chances gonna go up instantly. The same goes to your portfolio. So here are three most important things to pay attention to when rendering. Number one is offset, number two is balance, and number three is space. Now let me show you what I mean. Offset. Stop putting things in the middle of the frame. Offset them. It creates asymmetry and adds this dynamic element to your scene. Centered is static, offset is dynamic. This is also why you should avoid squared format renders. I know it's tempting for Instacrop, but you can go with 16 by 9 no problem. We don't have squared renders on Instagram and had no issues gaining over 10,000 followers. Rectangular framing such as 16x9 will create a horizontally oblong image and it makes it easier to offset things in the frame. Also the frame itself is wider than taller which is already creating a dynamic feel to it. Now there are exceptions there like symmetrical framing but we won't be getting into these since it will only confuse you. So keep it simple and you'll be fine. Now number two is balance. If you offset things and have too much empty space on the other side of the image you can balance it off with another model or element of interest like a logo. I use this trick all the time in my images and they look fantastic. Now here is how I do it. When I look through the camera in Blender I don't see models I see shapes. Those shapes have individual weight to them meaning they are optically heavier than empty space around them. All I need to do is to balance the visual weight inside of the frame so it feels more or less evenly distributed across that frame like in this image here. So think of shapes in terms of visual weight then offset them and balance them inside the frame. And finally space. Space is the third pillar of good framing. Make sure that your model has a ground to stand on and some breathing space around it. Do not clutter your renders and do not choke them visually. What I mean by this is you should try to leave enough space around and between the objects in the frame so they feel relaxed. Also try to give your model some ground to stand on. Do not cut the ground underneath the model really really rapidly okay. Give them some room it will simply empower the model and make it look more prominent. Now a key to a good render is to follow all these three rules at once. So offset your models, balance them using visual weight in the frame and leave enough space so your models can breathe and people can easily see the design language. Practice it and you'll get better and better with each day. Now look
look at good art on ArtStation and follow some of the top artists, learn by observing and recreating their framing, eventually it will become a second nature. Now there is much more I could teach you on the subject of framing, composition, lighting and all that, but it's impossible to do it in one video. We have a fantastic course called Rendering University, which will help you tremendously in creating way better images for your portfolio. You can learn more about the course on our website, the link is in the video description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.